first, not even a week after Idalia slammed Florida, we are watching another system in the tropics. Good evening to you. I'm Eric Von Anken. Glad you're with us tonight. We start with meteorologist Mara Kokinas, who's pinpointing this system for us, Mara. Absolutely. And we actually have another one behind that. Oh, so, great. you know, the tropics are very busy. September 10th is the peak of hurricane right. season. So we are coming up on that very quickly here. And so we do see an uptick in a lot of the activity in the tropics. So as we take a look today, I'm going to break this uh, graphic down for you because I know it's very busy, but we still have Tropical Storm Gert out there it's continuing to weaken as it, it, it interacts with the remnants of Idalia. And then back over toward the east, you'll notice Tropical Depression, Katia. So it was a tropical storm, has weakened as of right now. Both of these storms expected to stay out over open water. I'll come back to the big red area in just a moment. I want to show you this new wave that is expected to emerge off the African coast over the next couple of days has a small chance of developing as it makes its way west to northwest, but all eyes are on Invest 95L. So this wave, uh, Chief Meteorologist Tom Sorrells mentioned it to you. It's one that we're definitely going to watch because it bears watching at this point. Notice as it takes the projection closer to the Lesser Antilles. So this is more of a west-northwest motion, and it has a 60% chance of becoming a tropical depression this week, possibly even strengthening further from that from what models are showing, and a 90% percent chance over the next seven days. If the storm gets a name, it is going to be Lee. And then after that, it'll be Margo. So we'll continue to, of course, bring you all the changes with the tropics as they unfold. For now, let's send it back over to Eric.